In this video, we will show how an outbound IDOC from an SAP can be received by using a MuleSoft SAP connector. The content from the IDOC, once received, can then be sent to any desired application. In this demo, we will output the content to a file on our local machine. To design this integration flow, we will use a design time tool called AnyPoint Studio provided by MuleSoft. Once we start the AnyPoint Studio, we can create a new project. Let's give a project name. There are three main parts to AnyPoint Studio, as we see over here. On the left-hand side is the Project Explorer, where we have the directory structure and all the components that would be part of this integration project. On the right-hand side, we have a palette which shows all the different components, the connectors, the design pattern that we can add to our integration flow. And in the center is the canvas where we would be creating our integration flow. In our use case, SAP would be sending out an IDOC. We can receive this IDOC in MuleSoft using an SAP connector. If we go back to our AnyPoint Studio, we have a palette on the right hand side which provides us a list of various connectors for different applications. We can look up the SAP connector by typing in the name and dragging and dropping the SAP connector onto our canvas. We see the connector has various configuration parameters. We can create a new connector configuration. MuleSoft SAP connector leverages the SAP Java connector libraries, also known as SAP JCO libraries. To configure the connector, we need three files. One is the JCO platform specific native library. This depends on which platform you're running the MuleSoft integration in. And then the SAP JCO 3JAR and the SAP IDOC 3JAR. Once we have configured the three files in the connector, we can then configure the SAP parameters in the connector configurations. We can use uh, property placeholders over here so that we can avoid hard coding the values of the SAP configuration in the connector. The values for the property placeholders can then be configured externally in a separate file and those files can be then separated out as per the different environments that we, would, that we would be using for SAP. So in this case, we can configure our values for our SAP connector in a file uh, called muleapp.properties. And we would add all the values for our SAP connector over here. The values for the properties can be entered in this file and then saved. Once the connector is configured, we can then select the type of object that the connector is going to be receiving. In this case, we are receiving an IDOC and we will select the type IDOC. And for our use case, we will be receiving the customer master record. So we will go and select the type of I, the IDOC name. Click on search. We 
we'll select the IDOC. And then we can select the type RFC type that we want to pick. In this case, we will select queued RFC. We also need to configure the JCO server parameters for our SAP connector. Add in the property placeholder for the JCO server configurations. Make sure that the values for these property placeholders have been defined in your external property file. Now that our SAP connector has been configured, we are ready to receive the customer master IDOC from our SAP instance. Going back to our use case, we see that when we receive the IDOC, we want to write the content of that IDOC into a file and store it into our local file system. So we go back into Studio and we want to add a file connector to our flow. So we go into Palette and type File and drag and drop the file connector into our canvas. We can configure the path in the file connect connector where we want to store our file. And we can also add the file name. Let's save the project. This way, the IDOC received by our SAP connector, the content of that IDOC will be written into a file and will be stored in the configured location. We can also add a logger component in our flow so that we can visualize the content being received from SAP. So we'll go into the palette, type logger, and drag and drop the logger component into our flow. And we want to log the message payload received from the connector. We'll save our project. We have finished configuring our integration flow. We can run this flow within our AnyPoint Studio by right-clicking on the project and clicking on Run as Mule Application. By doing this, our integration flow would be running in the embedded Mule ESP engine that is part of the Mule AnyPoint Studio. We can use this to run our project while during development as well as test and debug our project. Now that this project is running in our AnyPoint Studio, this flow will act as an SAP JCO server. So any IDOC of type Customer Master sent by our SAP instance will be routed to this Mule flow and the content of that IDOC will be written to a file that will get stored onto our local file system. So let's test this out. We will switch to the SAP graphical user interface to initiate an IDOC. Here we will initiate an outbound IDOC from our SAP instance. We want to send the customer master. So let's enter the customer ID, the output type for the IDOC and the logical system that corresponds to the one that we have assigned to our SAP connector in MuleSoft. We will press on send. And what this does is we have just sent out an IDOC for our customer master for this particular customer ID. Now, since the SAP connector in our AnyPoint Studio has initiated a JCO server, we will see that that IDOC sent out of the SAP instance would be received uh, in MuleSoft in the AnyPoint Studio. And since we had a logger component in our flow, the content of that IDOC that has been received is, has been outputted into our console. And the content is then written into a file and copied to our local file system.
we go to our directory we will see that the file was written over there in this video we demonstrated how simple it is to set up a jco server using mule and the sap connector as an inbound endpoint mule can receive events from sap and route those objects to other sources easily without extensive coding thank you for watching